In this lesson, we're going to learn how to deliver unguided bombs in the Continuously Computed Impact Point, or CCIP. Unguided bombs of this U-27 include the FAB-250, FAB-500, RBK cluster bombs, and beta penetration bombs. In this case, I have four FAB-250s and two FAB-500s. Each of the FAB bombs has a high explosive warhead, and the number in the name indicates the bomb's weight in kilograms. I currently have a lesson in active pause. The first thing I need you to do is select air to ground mode by pressing 7. Do this now. Note that the HUD has changed to remove most of the navigation information and replace it with bombing symbology. We'll talk more about this soon. You can switch your weapons by pressing D. Try this now. When you cycle the weapon, take a look at the weapon status panel in the center of the front dash. It's a black panel with the shape of a wing along the top. There are two rows of lights below it. The top row of yellow lights indicates the weapon stations that have weapons attached to them, and the lower row of green lights indicates weapon stations are loaded with the currently selected weapon type. In the black panel to the left of the HUD, a B symbol is displayed. This indicates that the selected weapon type is a bomb. You can also see the symbol in the lower right corner of the HUD. Press the spacebar to continue. Those are the basics of configuring your settings for bomb release. Now let's learn how to put those bombs on target in CCIP mode. Using what you learned in the navigation lessons, fly through all the gates ahead. Press the spacebar to unpause the lesson. If you are not already, press 7 to enter air to ground mode. On the HUD, you can see a pipper with a dot in the center. This is your bombing reticle and will use it to aim your bombs. When you're within valid bomb release parameters, indicated by the launch authorization queue on the HUD, the bombs will impact where the bombing reticle pipper is at time of weapon release. Along the left side of the HUD is the range scale bar and caret that indicates the bomb fall range. the bottom left corner of the HUD, IP ground is indicated, meaning visual bombing will be selected. The B in the bottom right corner of the HUD indicates you have bombs selected. Ahead and below your nose is a set of trucks marked with red smoke. This will be your aim point. When you fly to the next gate, quickly begin a dive onto the target. Dive now to an angle of 50 to 60 degrees as indicated on the HUD pitch scale. Maneuver the aircraft to place the bombing reticle paper over the targets marked with the red smoke. When a line is drawn from the top of the bombing reticle and an LA appears on the bottom of the HUD, release your bombs by pressing the spacebar. Control your airspeed by reducing throttle and pressing B to deploy your air brakes. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Nice job. Pull you hit up. the target. I've added some additional targets marked with green smoke to practice on. You can continue to practice, or you can end the lesson now by pressing the escape key. Up. 
Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. 